For your feedback assignment today, I'm going to show you the layout and design of the virtual reality art show that I have so far. I'm going to explain a little bit of the options that I have for editing and changing or rearranging. And then I will post in classroom along with this video that you have two points of feedback to give. You need to give me feedback on the layout by sketching out um, the layout, whether you agree with my layout or not. Kind of what do you vision a possible layout to be for this art show? And then feedback on the colors and textures. So label your sketch or actually fill in, you know, colors and textures um, with detail if you like. Um, you still have to sketch out your layout and colors and textures, even if you agree with how I have it so far. So still just some practice in drawing. If you have your sketchbook, please do it in your sketchbook. If you don't have your sketchbook, regular computer paper is fine, line paper is fine, like whatever you have available. As long as you can take a clear picture of it and upload it to this assignment in Google Classroom, I'll be fine with it. Okay. So, first thing I have is this guided tour. I'm just going to show you. It starts out with the title of our show, Outside the Building. I have divided it into the section for entry level, um, intermediate and advanced level, and include photography. Some of you guys said the sample gallery made you a bit dizzy. I've worked on that a little bit to keep you from feeling quite so dizzy. Just understanding, for me, understanding how the guided tour works and how the settings are. You guys are not interacting with this program in, in the design of the show. You're going to give me feedback and I will implement the changes into the program instead. So just making sure that you guys understand um, that I'm not expecting you to create the show. You're giving me the information I need to be able to create it um, on my account here that I have. So you can see intermediate and advanced art courses are this way. I can click on the title and look up at it. If you guys want to put more information here, I can. But I will lead everyone through the space. Um, so this is the Art 2, Art 3, AP section. This is the Creative Photography section. You guys can also see on the map down here, too, how I've got it laid out. Also, this is the entrance where I came in. I went around here, went through, went back and forth, and I can go out this way. Um, I want to make sure that the flow of the path makes sense and it doesn't have the camera like turning in a circle in place. So if you guys in your sketch can also design the path that you think would be the most logical for being able to see everything without doubling back too much or spinning the camera around and making it really busy, that would be appreciated. All right, the next part of the feedback is the colors and textures you're able to see and some of the information about the artworks. Okay, so the design of this. Okay, so right now I have white walls and wooden floors. You can change the color of the walls. If you guys want to pause the video here to see how the colors available, you can do that. Um, I can make all the walls the same color. Um, I can make different sections, different colors, like if you guys think photography should have a black background, um, I can do that if you guys want a different color for each section. Um, I'm not going to go crazy with like, oh, that wall should be orange, and this one should be blue, and that one should be green, like that's, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, let's keep it, the focus to be on the artwork, but if you guys have a legit reason for explaining that voice to me, go for it. Um, next is textures. So right now, right now I've got grass outside, wood floor inside, but I can make that checkerboard, um, which I think is a little bit too much. Some of the textures wouldn't make sense, like this is desert sand, so we're not going to do that. Let me kind of see the texture a little bit better here. 
think some of them might be more carpet. This one's like that zigzag wood floor. And that'd be interesting. So just kind of keep in mind what kind of colors and textures do you think would be good for our show? Do you want it more cozy, more contemporary? Um, kind of what is it that you think we're looking for? So um, just keep that in mind. Um, the other part of it is I'm just going to go ahead and add an image real quick so you guys can see. Um, so here's some artwork, title, um, artist statement, artist name, and materials, dimensions. So all this stuff that you guys put in the labels that's going to go here. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys later about doing an audio file and an artist name and thing. Don't worry about that right now. That will come in another assignment. Um, I know I had you guys measure in inches and this is in meters. I'll do the conversions for you if you already did that. Here's where the license comes into play. So you guys can understand the licensing assignment. Um, just go back to that. The first link should have been a video or a, a website link which had a video to watch. If you've watched the video, it explains what all these little abbreviations are for. So Creative Commons, Attribution, Non-Commercial Share Alike. So by you non-commercial share alike so you can't remove the attribution on it. Okay. Um, basically going through those options see how do you want your artwork to share. If someone were to find the paint by drawing and post it to their blog, would I be okay with it? If they find that um, they post it without my name or if they post it saying, hey, you can use this to sell on t-shirts or if they post it saying, you know, um, that the original file said you can't share it, you can't sell it, or could they Photoshop their face onto it and say that it's theirs now, a derivative. Just looking through those, please, if you have any questions, still let me know. I don't want you guys to just pick one and be like, I don't know what I'm doing. Here, I'll just do that. Um, it's really important to protect your work properly the way that you want it to be protected. So understand that first. Um, so I've got a little chart that made me lazy. Got an artwork, I'll throw it up here. Okay. Obviously, the dimensions weren't right, but I can always fix that. That's fine. Um, the next thing I want you guys to pick out is your frame. Okay, so you can pause the video once again, see the frame options. And the frame might depend too on the background. I'll put it on the gray. And then I'll do a dark frame. It looks different than the dark frame on the white background. So consider that as well for your artworks, or if you think you should do that for all the artworks um, for your feedback. So just sketching out your sketchbook, giving some design and feedback ideas for that. And then I'll talk to you guys about the artwork info in another assignment.